as we know, there are still the Boris Four that's out there. Some big names that are still available on the market. And this past weekend, uh, for the first time in a very long time, we directly heard connections of Blake Snell to the Phillies. We had already heard Jordan Montgomery's name in the mix. Um, but now it seems as though the Red Sox may be the favorite for Jordan Montgomery. But this past weekend, Bob Nightingale of USA Today Bobby! did say that the Phillies would be open to bringing Blake Snell into the fold, but not on a long-term deal. A one-year pact or shorter-term contract would be the Phillies' preference or quite possibly the kind of three-year deal with multiple opt-outs that recently signed Cody Bellinger and Matt Chapman um, have been able to receive. So it appears that there might be potential to bring in Blake Snell on a smaller deal. There have been other reports that have indicated Blake Snell is favorited to go to the Angels, the Giants. I know last week John Heyman was reporting that the Yankees and Blake Snell had another conversation exactly about a week ago, actually. But it was seeming as though the two parties were not able to find a common ground. And it was through that conversation that they had last Monday that it seemed that the Yankees and Snell are actually not moving closer. And quite the opposite, the chances of a deal happening with the Yankees for Snell are extremely low. Now, of course, this information came out this past weekend. I know I was ready to talk about it on the show today, Jamie. Like, oh, wow, Phillies might get Blake Snell. And then with the Zach Wheeler extension, it leaves you wondering, wait a minute, given how much they just spent... Will the Phillies actually go after Blake Snell? Now, of course, for this is so Jason gluttonous. Stark, it's great. I'm like trying to tee out all the information for you guys. Jason Stark did go on to say today, I've never heard anybody in the Phillies hierarchy say they have any interest in Blake Snell. You're giving up a draft pick, international money, and not to mention the contract that you signed him to. I can't see how it works for the Phillies. So some contradicting reports out there and as we know for anybody that signs Blake Snell right now you are putting your team financially into quite a pickle um, which is why he's been on the board for so long do you think that the Phillies would still go after Blake Snell I for do. a short-term deal I think John Middleton is very much in his uh, f money go get me <laughs> my damn title back uh, or trophy back and I think the only way this is realistic is if it's that one or two year deal whether it's Jordan Montgomery or Blake Snell um uh, you know, Scott Boris uh, might have some splaining to do to some <laughs> of his uh, clients because, you know, like apparently Jordan Montgomery turned down a, a, a pretty decent deal. Was that the Blue Jays, Tyler? Uh, according to some reports, he got offered like one hundred and forty million and turned yeah. it down. Uh, Cody Bellinger ended up taking, you know, a, a mm, club a little... and team and, and him friendly deal. It was just a rumor, Tyler. Don't kill yourself. Um, <laughs> but apparently, you know, Scott Boris, I think teams are a little bit um, kind of sick of his BS and overvaluing yeah. uh, maybe his players to a degree. And I think he's gotten away with it for a long time. But now you see Matt Chapman take this three year, only fifty four mm -hmm. million dollar deal. He thought he was going to get a lot more. You know, at the beginning of free agency, Blake Snell was apparently going to get close to two hundred. Um, and I think his clients are finding that the market isn't there for them. Uh, so that only helps the Phillies, you know, like, do I think they get either? I'm probably going to say no, but I do think there's a point because it is March 4th yeah. and pitchers are a little different because they can still throw on the side and yeah. stretch out and get loose. They don't necessarily need to be in camp, but you're getting to the point now where if this goes on for another week to 10 days, where these guys are probably going to miss the start of seasons. Exactly. Um, exactly. So it's getting it's getting very time sensitive, and the more time sensitive it gets, the more likely the Phillies are, I think, to pay, you know, thirty five million for one year for a Blake Snell or something like that. Yeah. Um, Jordan Montgomery would get less, I think, but you're approaching that time period where. It's not out of the question. Yeah. I don't think it's going to happen. I think, you know, like the Giants or Blue Jays or somebody's going to come out of the blue with like a, you know, three to five year deal or something. Uh, maybe the Yankees do step up for Snell. But yeah, it's it's exciting to think about because if they get one of these guys, they already have a top five rotation in baseball. Yeah. If they get one of these guys, it's full on gluttony uh, and pretty damn exciting.